everyone, Sharon here, and it is day 18 of my birthday month long celebration, and I'm celebrating by giving something away every day, whether it's advice, tips, um, articles, free books, giving something every day. So today you'll notice I'm on a different location. I am at the beach and I absolutely love the water. I try to get to the water at least once a week um, and definitely on my birthday when I lived up north I would get to the river for my birthday and now that I'm here it's the beach. Something else that I absolutely love is journaling. I have every journal I've ever written in since I was in junior high school. We call it middle school now, but back then it was junior high school. I have every journal and at least once a year, I take them all out. I don't read them all, but I start to just skim through them, some of them, and just reflect on my life and where I've been and where I've come from and where I want to continue to head toward. Which brings me to my sharing for today. It's what I tend to do on my birthday. There's a reflective process that I go through where number one, it allows me to reflect. It helps me to celebrate my wins because you know when you're having those small wins, you don't realize how significant they are until you look back and say, wait a minute, those things added up. Um, also, the process helps me to express gratitude and uh, finally, it calls on me to dream big for the year ahead. And so I'll put all of my questions that I ask myself and reflect on in my journal below the video, but I'll share a few of them with you now. The one, the main one is where was I exactly one year ago today? What was going on? I typically know because it's in my journal. <laughs> uh, but I think you might be able to figure out where you were one year ago. Um, on your birthday as well and I write down you know what was going on who was in my life what experiences were I was I having what things that I want to release from my life um, another question that I ask myself is um, who has come into my life who has left my life those are things to look at as well um, I I look at where am I now today in comparison to one year ago that's definitely where you get to celebrate yourself because that's where you see um, those wins and let me tell you why that one is important it's important because in the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle we can um, we, we can overlook the small wins it's very easy to do and in doing so then we can end up um, tearing ourselves down not thinking we've gone far enough not thinking done enough and that's not good for your emotional health neither is it good for your spiritual health and it's definitely not good for your physical health because as we carry those uh, negative emotions around as I shared with you in another video those negative emotions find their way into our organs and then they reveal themselves as disease so you definitely want to give yourself the space and the time to reflect celebrate yourself and release negative emotions which brings me to another question i reflect on what challenges did i face in the last year and why were those in my life what did i learn from them and how did i grow from them and how will i take those lessons moving forward how will i apply them in other areas of my life so that's basically you know my process that i use every year without fail and I journal them and I'm going to share those questions with you below the video hoping that you'll have the opportunity to do the same and hoping that you'll find it to be a blessing for you so that's it that's my birthday giving for today on day 18 my actual birthday I'm so I'm so happy midnight came I was so happy I couldn't figure out why I was smiling so much literally I was just in the bed smiling and I realized it's my birthday anyway <laughs> uh, so yeah that's it I'll share um, those questions with you so you can have the opportunity to reflect as well and my hope is that um, they're a blessing for you so until tomorrow enjoy the rest of your day bye